G'day all, it's uh, Brendan here from RGK New Zealand. We've been asked this quite a few times now in terms of uh, providing some more product information in and around uh, the various things that we do. So we thought, well, why not kick it off with uh, the first one? So welcome, and hopefully this goes well. We'll probably get better at this, well, I'm hoping I will anyway. So um, look, today's topic is gonna be um, about tri -ride and then specifically around the quad controls. So what I thought I'd do is give you a little bit of understanding about the actual tri-ride range, and then we can drill down a bit further in terms of the quad controls, okay? I'll also put in some uh, pictures and videos and so forth up in this area here, hopefully I'm pointing in the right direction, uh, and that'll show you the function and just some of the things that we go into in a bit more detail. Okay, so great, here we go. So look, um, the tri-ride range is massive. And um, one of the main reasons we brought Tri-Ride into New Zealand was because of their focus on innovation and their continual improvement of um, the devices and how, as chair users, we get around, So, which is fantastic. And they're always willing to do different things and um, really just sort of, I guess, um, get the benefit that we need out of the product. So the Tri-Ride range includes everything from right down at the end, which is a foldable model. So you're looking at a um, Tri-Ride foldable, seven and a half kgs, right up to the uh, the big boys, which are the T-Rock and the uh, Mad Max. So the the one that we're gonna focus more on today is gonna be around the use of the quad controls and integrating those into the bikes. Now, the quad controls are, have the ability to go onto all of the bikes, okay? Depending on uh, functionality and depending on what you need, um, we can adjust them, so handlebars, is a massive thing. We can change, obviously, the types of grips and the type of acceleration as well. So what I'll do is I'll go through each of those options for you, and I'll put some pictures up in here as well, and so you some of the functions that we've, um, that, that, that uh, you can you can do, so it'll give you a bit more of a visibility. So the first thing is, is obviously, is in terms of sitting the bike up. So the bikes are all designed individually for the person. So the height of the, the stem is the main thing, so how far the bike sits off the ground and how it's above your knees. And then on top of that, you we also adjust the stem, so how far the handles come back to you, the angle that they are on as well. So getting that right reach and the comfort for you. Secondly is in terms of the handlebars. So there's a number of different handlebar options and I'll put up some pictures now, just in terms of the different handlebar options that um, that have been done and some of the variations of those. And you'll see them um, hopefully on the screen now if, I can, if I've managed to do it correctly. And um, just to see, give you some visibility of those. Now within those handlebars, the buttons, that um, Trial Rider famous for. So the new functions around the IBS and the ACC. So IBS is the um, button for um, uh, engine braking and it essentially has a feature on it for, um, um, I, I guess, ABS, you know, sort of braking in, in a car where you don't get that wheel slipping on gravel, um, but it still brings you to a stop. The added benefit, obviously it recharges the battery as well. The ACC, um, which is the updated version of the standard cruise control, so what that allows you to do is activate the cruise control from 2K an hour upwards, okay? And then that'll maintain that speed up and downhill. And when you're going downhill, it'll actually can, it'll slow the bike down to keep you at the same speed, same as a car. So you, you maintain that same speed up and down the hill. And obviously with the benefit, it'll recharge the battery at the same time. So some really nifty features and some, I, I guess the major thing is this has got those benefits for you as well in terms of being able to um, extend your comfort and your safety within the bike as well. So now with the buttons, and again I'll put up another picture up on the screen in terms of where the buttons can be lo located, it's basically endless. So how you want to set them up is entirely up to you um, and we'll work with you on that in terms of how that works. One of the major benefits that RGK and one of the things that RGK has patented is the control of the of the tri ride, so the braking and acceleration, which is critical, especially when you um, from quad and tetra when you've got limited hand function. So again, I'll put a camera um, a, a video image up on the screen at the moment, which will show you the, the how this works. So what this allows is one handed operation, so the braking and acceleration. Now this can either be push for brake or pull for brake or pull for acceleration or push for acceleration, depending on how you want it to operate for yourself. So hopefully the video is up on the screen now and you can see how that works. Now this can either be left or right, um, and it can be mounted anywhere on the handlebars as well. So what that does allow is for you to customize it to exactly how you want it, and also to maintain control as well. Now, the last part of that setup is obviously in the most important side of it, which is obviously the electronics and how that bike actually operates. 
So RGK has developed their own electronics and what that allows us to do is more flexibility in, in terms of how that bike operates for you. So you, every bike has five power levels, including reverse, which is always a benefit. There's nothing worse than not having reverse and reverse gets you out of a huge number of situations in terms of when you're losing traction or when you're perhaps not um, confident enough to go down an area, you can reverse straight out of it. So the five power levels are adjustable. So we're able to adjust those power levels in terms of how quickly that power comes on um, and also the top level of your speed as well. So you can really get some, um, some flexibility. So what that links into is obviously the batteries. So you're wondering how, what sort of batteries have I got available? The batteries that you've got available, there are essentially two major sizes. So you've got 36 volt and 48. What that does is it extends your range. So if you've got ranges from on the on the smaller bike, so I mentioned earlier the foldable, you've got a range of about 35k, right up to the to the um, larger bikes, the T-Rock and the, and the Mad Max, where you can run a dual battery setup, which will give you a range of about 100k, which is massive. Now, obviously, that is subject to the terrain you're on, um, obviously also the total weight of the rider and so forth. But even at 100k, even at 80k, it's still a hell of a long way. So the the flexibility is massive. Um, most people run the 48 volt battery uh, because it gives a good um, uh, mix of the weight and also the actual distance that you can um, go as well. Adding on the <clears throat> adding on the, uh, the actual quad controls does add a bit extra weight depending on the configuration that you can go for. And I'll put another image up on the screen as well now so you can see the different options. So the, um, the the weight could be anywhere from sort of a kg to a couple of kgs, depending on how complex or how how involved you need the handlebars to and to, to operate. Um, the um, the other option is in terms of the braking. So braking is all done through um, obviously the engine braking. So you've got the button. You don't have to have it, but it's I'd highly recommend it. The other option is the actual mechanical, so the disc brake, um, and that is. Um, Again, can be mounted on left and right, depending on which is your strongest hand, and if you want the um, um, push for brake or pull for brake, depending on your, your tricep or bicep strength. Now, the other thing that you can do as well is you can run a dual caliper on there as well. So um, what that does is it basically doubles your braking. So in terms of this, the sensitivity becomes a, a huge, huge thing. So you can only, you'll only just need to move it and it'll brake. So hopefully that has given you some insight in terms of some of the functions and the pictures we've got on the screen in terms of those functions. So hopefully that can give you some insight and please feel free to call us um, at any stage or drop us an email. I'm more than happy to answer any questions. Um, RGK New Zealand is owned by myself, um, Brendan, and uh, Scott, who um, you've probably seen around as well. He's a big, tall, lanky guy. He just looks a bit funny, but I don't know, he's okay. Um, and um, and obviously myself, I'm in the chair, so any direct questions that you have, feel free to get in touch. We're always happy to ask anything, and trials are available. We do have the um, the quad control um, available for trial. Now that is on the compact um, trial ride, so um, more than happy to um, to attach it to anyone's bike and um, see if you can get out there and get rolling. Thanks again for watching, and uh, hopefully this wasn't too painful to listen to and watch, but um, have a great day, and we'll catch up soon. Thanks a lot. Cheers. Bye.